time with the AMA Experience 16, the, uh, the American Marketing Association from the state of Iowa. And we are with, right now, Mike Whitson. Mike is with IR... Eye Tracking Research. Eye Tracking Research. Thanks, Mike, for coming by sure. and talking to us. My pleasure. This is a crazy day out here. So many people are coming to learn more about uh, marketing and advertising. Tell everyone, you're coming on at about 10.15 this morning. Uh, here in, in Johnson. What are you going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the need to do good user experience research in all types of designs. Right now, it's, the conversation is increasing on that, but it's really not a standard practice, and it needs to be. And when you talk about research with regard to eye tracking and behavioral science with regard to mm. consumers, what are you really looking at? Right, so when we get real neuroscience-y about it, as we call it, uh, we're actually tracking how people interact with it with a design. We we un try to understand what are they looking at, what are they ignoring, and is that important? We also measure their emotional response with facial coding. So in real time, we'll be able to identify when they're looking at something and if that is confusing or frustrating to them. And all that information, in, in addition to good quality interviews, sure. really helps us understand the complete user experience. And this is across the spectrum too, not just websites. All media. And so you've been doing print, video? Yes, print, magazine advertising, websites, video, you know, 30 second TV spots, five minute industry conversations, uh, all those, all the, all the medias we've, if you look at it, it can really be tested. You know, I think it's an amazing <laughs> science and when you start to talk about science with with businesses out there, they tend to understand the numbers a whole lot better if it can be put together in a well in a, in a way that they can better understand and, and move forward. What kind of things have have this what kinds of things has this science been able to achieve for some of your clients? The a better understanding of the complete user journey through one of their designs, and then understanding what are their expectations and what are their preferences. Knowing that in satisfaction, and in the end, if they become a customer, they become a loyal customer. It's all about conversion. Isn't Absolutely. It? It's much less expensive to convert an existing client to buy more. It is. It's it's less expensive and easier to increase conversions than it is to increase visits. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Mike. We appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. It's the American Marketing Association Iowa Experience 16. Thanks again.